Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of 4 Films. This is another short one because it's about Heath Ledger. That's right, here are 4 films of Heath Ledger ranked. Now, why am I doing this? Because I felt like it, that's why. What are you, my mom, you stupid son of a... Okay, so this is going off how I feel about the film as well as his performance. So if you feel differently, it's okay. This is just my opinion and you can yell at me in the comments about how yours is completely different and I'm just an ass. I'm also ranking these from worst to best. Number one, The Joker in the Dark Knight. This film is very meh to me. It's fine. It's okay at best. But the reason people seem to love this movie is of course because of Heath Ledger's performance as the Joker. Which to me is a very interesting take on being the Joker, but not definitive to me. I do like his use of having various backstories, that way you don't know what's real. What is his true origin? People like that mystery about him. So even though I put this as the worst one, it's not so much his performance, it's just I really think it didn't stand out enough to be the thing that it is. Because I don't think that movie is as good as everyone thinks it is. Really the standout star of that film is Aaron Eckhart as Harvey Dent. He's the only character in that film that really has an arc and it goes somewhere and sadly ends. Next up is Patrick from 10 Things I Hate About You. He's a bad boy, he sings a song, Julia Stiles hates things about him. What more do you need? Number three, William Thatcher from A Knight's Tale. Really, this is a tie with Patrick from 10 Things I Hate About You because both films are fine. They're not terrible, but they're also not very memorable, at least not to me. And really, if you want to get technical, 10 Things I Hate About You is a much better film. But then again, they're both not that memorable to me, <laughs> so I can't really say 100%. The only reason I put this film here is because it's the first time that the trio of Ledger, Mark Addy, and Shannon Tossman get together. Plus this movie has Paul Bettany, The Vision, Alan Tudyk, who was washed from uh, Firefly, and he was in Tucker and Dale vs. Evil, and Rufus Sewell from uh, Dark City. And I mention the trio because they go on to be in what I think is his best performance and his best film. Number one. Or number four. I don't remember the count. The Order. As Alex, the priest. To me, this is his best role. And I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Wait, didn't The Order get like a 9% on Rotten Tomatoes or something? Yeah, it got terrible reviews. But that's okay, I already talked about it before in the, this video right around here-ish. Basically the reason I enjoy him in this film is because he actually gets to act in this film. He's not a character driven by gimmicks or anything else like that. He's just straight up a person who has a very interesting dilemma. His world is fantastic, but he isn't really. It shows off that he could have done so much more, which is really depressing. Speaking of depressing, Shout out to all my... <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Eh. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And then, you know, yell at me in the comments about how much I suck or whatever you want to do. like to give a big thank you to my Patreon patrons. Look at that. Wonderful. Great people. Good times. And I'll see you next time. Well, I won't see you. You'll see me. That's how it works, you see.